cotizaciones en todo el mundo para diferentes tipos de paneles solares, porque fueron de cotizaciones reales de diferentes empresas, de diferentes países, para diferentes tecnologías y para diferentes tamaños. Aquí les dejo esta, esta diapositiva, saquen una impresión de pantalla, paneles monocristalinos, paneles policristalinos, paneles flexibles, en México, Colombia, Chile, Argentina, Ecuador, Perú y Centroamérica, paneles de entre 140 y 160 watts, estos números que están aquí, por ejemplo, si dice México, punto 79, en Colombia nos cuesta 1.35 dólares por cuarto. Si sí es más caro, pero el mercado es mucho más pequeño. Y aparte, si, lo, si pensamos en, en que con, en México compramos muchos paneles de Estados Unidos, puede ser, pues nos sale mucho más barato traer unos paneles solares de Estados Unidos que lo que va, le va a costar a un, a un importador colombiano llevarlo desde Estados Unidos hasta Colombia. Bien, los precios de Chile, de Argentina de Ecuador, de Perú y de Centroamérica para todas estas opciones. Entonces, con esto te puedes dar una idea muy clara de más o menos cuánto van a costar los paneles solares en tu país. How much solar panel systems cost? What are they really? So as I was thinking about this, I wanted to divide this into three different categories. The first category would be the small systems. Um, these would be systems like I show in my beginner uh, solar for beginners series where you've got a small 10 or 20 watt solar panel you're just starting out with solar uh, and you're using cheap components that you don't necessarily need to depend upon every day uh, the second category would be like your medium sized systems you graduate into something where you're going to actually use it for something but you're still probably under a thousand watts and uh, it's not something that you're you know you're powering your whole house off of or whatever and the third category would be large production systems like you would kind of have installed on your roof on your home if you were going to power the whole house off or cabin or whatever off of solar and, and you're using the uh, and, and this is a kind of a quote-unquote mission critical application that you really need to depend upon Okay, so what does this all mean? Well, for small systems, uh, again, like I've shown in my Solar for Beginners series, um, expect to pay roughly $120 for the whole system. Now, we can argue till we're blue in the face about exact prices, but this is a pretty good ballpark, plus or minus, uh, what you'll pay in real life in US dollars. For medium-sized systems, we're taking a little bit of a quantum leap here, and we're going with more robust uh, equipment, bigger, everything costs a little bit more. So you were looking at roughly $1,200, $1,300 in that range. Again, plus or minus a little bit, but that's, that's about what you can expect to graduate to the next level. And then for large systems, this is again another large quantum leap forward uh, in price and complexity. So you're looking at minimum six to $8,000, probably more like 8,500 to $10,000 to put in a, like a three kilowatt system is basically what I spec'd out here. Generally speaking, you're gonna probably spend about $2 to $3 per watt for, uh, for these. Now, if you hunt for a good deal, you can, you can probably still get them for about a buck 50 a watt. This one uh, in particular was $30, so it's in that $1.50 um, per watt range. It's a 20 watt panel uh, with free shipping from Amazon. So it's still relatively about in that dollar dollar 25 a watt range with shipping um, which is about the best you're going to get right now <laughs> 